Yeah, what's up YouTube? This is Miss Swan Douglas Seven here. And in this video tutorial Hello. I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to uh, create a semi form. Um I've been researching and not a lot of people know how to actually create forms. Um and I was searching on the simple machines dot work form and not a lot of people actually knew how to make them. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make it and uh, no, hopefully it'll be like hopefully it'll be only like a TV video. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go ahead and register at triple over cast If you're gonna hit sign up Okay, and then here you can choose whatever URL you want. I'm just going to go, um, and, put in my name and my email. And hit create my account. Then you come over to the here and confirm the registration by just clicking this link here. And then you can set out of this tab. It takes about five minutes, but while we're waiting for that, we're going to go to the simple machine stop work. And here we can hit this big ass download button. And then here you, you will see download your semi version, whatever you're up to there. But uh, for the recording of this video, or as of the time of this video, it, uh, the latest version is 2.0.3, and I'm going to download the zip. Okay, now it's going to pop up here, and since I already have it here, I'm just going to put it to my desktop. Okay, and then here you're going to hit refresh status. It should only take like five minutes or three minutes or a minute to make the website. And then all you're just going to do is go to cPanel. And the first thing you're going to want to do is come down to software services and select my S SQL. And here you're going to create a database and use it. And this is going to be used later on when we're actually installing and setting up our form. So, database name, you can name it whatever you want. I'm also going to name it SMF1, and that's SMF1 host. Host. And then the new password, you can choose whatever you want, but I'm going to go with this. And hit create database. Then you're going to want to go back to my SQL. And as you can see, it's created. I think I'm just going to hit go up here. And it will take you back to the main page. Then you want to come here and hit file manager. It will open up a new tab. And here you will want to type in the password to your account. So like that. And hit continue. If you try your password to your account, um, and it doesn't work, then what you can do is back over to the other tab, if you scroll up, you can hit view account details. And here it will say file upload details, then it will say FTP hostname, FTP username, FTP, FTP password. And then you can just, uh, if you forgot your FTP password, then you can come here and hit change account password. And then you can change it and so you know what it is. 
Um, also, FTP stands for Final Transfer Protocol. Um, so, anyways, let's go back over to the file transfer. Uh, you're not meant to upload here, you're meant to just go into the public underscore HTML directory and then you can come here and hit the lead php or default.php and just tick it and hit the lead then so uh, take this select just to confirm the, that you want to delete it and then hit the back arrow now here we go we're going to hit upload and here we're going to hit choose file then we're gonna go to our desktop, select SMF and hit the tick. It will take a few minutes so I'll come back when it's done. Also you can see in the bottom left hand corner how it says uploading. That's how much percent you have. Um, so I'm just gonna keep recording because it doesn't look that long. Okay, so it's basically finished now. Um, I was just going to wait for the file manager. So if you do get errors, let's see if we get errors. Yeah, see if you do get errors, um, it doesn't really mean anything as long as you get this and it says that SMF is okay. Why would you have the whole Okay, so then you can hit the back arrow. And all these files are here. Now I just want to hit tick install.php and come over here and hit open. Then it's going to load up a page and now you can click uh, disconnect from the file transfer. Now we're just going to go back here and we're going to just go into MySQL and we're just going to go back over to the other tab and we're going to come here and just hit continue it's like it says yeah, how you're going to go through the process guide of installing yes. okay so here is the database settings so the first thing the database type you want MySQL because that's what we have in Triple O we post now first thing is you're going to want to copy the host Okay, server name we change to this the host and in our um, thing and then the user is what we created before back at triple O web host. A password is the password we put in it. And then the database is the database name here and then the table prefix is and it will be more like what's in BB and then continue now it's going to ask you what you want your form name and your form URL okay so I'm going to go to the center unit profile gaming Because it's PG forms. And then just continue. Okay, now here it's just going to say a popular database and it's going to tell you how many uh, tables are created and how many rows are created. You don't really know any information about that. But this is the next step, is quite important. What you do is type in your user, then password, then password, and then store in your and then your database password just to make sure um, uh, then it requires you to supply the database password to create an administrator account for security reasons. Okay, and then what you have to do is just Click here to delete and sort of PHP now. Okay, now you can exit out of there and we're gonna go back to our file transfer, our file manager. 
make sure you're selecting this blue one if you select this another file manager you won't see the same place I'm going but we haven't got a public underscore html and as you can see um and you saw php is already deleted which is good if you don't delete index.php install.php anybody can go to your uh, for uh, your url and then create it themselves and then you won't have any access unless you um unless you like reset it um so yeah thanks for watching guys i hope this has helped oh and i'll just prove it it's worked by selecting pt forms and here's your forms and so you can see how i got it and features options main administration center <laughs> it will say <laughs> receive <laughs> to win <laughs> and yeah so that's everything you guys need to know if you guys want to know how to install simple portal um just post a comment below and i'll make a video on how to do that thanks <laughs>